Naperville's Lucy Westlake is no stranger to challenges. The world record holder has set records for being the youngest to climb several mountains, including Mount Everest. And we have followed her adventures mm -hmm. over the last year or so, and the 19-year-old just returned from her latest trip, which was an attempt to become the youngest woman to climb K2 in Pakistan. That is the world's second highest mountain. And Lucy is joining us now live to tell us all about this uh, amazing trip to Pakistan. Lucy, thanks for joining us. Um, tell us a little bit about this particular climb, uh, just what, what went into it. And I know um, you did kind of have to make a tough decision once you were partially uh, up to the top. Yes, yeah, it was a really amazing trip in general. Um, it. It was the longest I've been in the mountains. The total time I was in Pakistan was 47 days, uh, which is a lot longer than I was hmm. expecting. But it was an amazing trip. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it to the top. Um, there was a lot of complications up there. I was in an avalanche, and I just decided it was too unsafe. Um, the conditions were a lot of snow, lots of people trying to go up, so I decided to turn back around. But what I love about your posts as we've followed you over the years in doing these adventures is you always find a positive. You always find something um, good or a learning experience to take away. So as you did turn around, what was that this time? I wasn't honestly super um, upset turning around. It kind of hit me later, like uh, where I was like, okay, yeah, like it, it does kind of suck that I didn't get to try for this summit, but it was just... I mean, it was such a beautiful morning. I was just so in awe of everything around me. Of, of I mean, that first picture was of Camp Three. Like when I when I turned around, how you could see how beautiful it was. Um, and I had, I was really proud of myself too, because K two is a very difficult mountain, more difficult than Mount Everest. And I had pushed myself so much to get to that point um, that I was really proud of the effort I put in. And I'm I definitely grew as a mountaineer, as a person, um, even though I didn't reach a summit. We know soon you're heading back to your sophomore year at USC. When you're uh, in college during the school year, are you also sort of training uh, as you're taking classes and to stay in physical shape? And what are what's next for you? What, what are your next plans when it comes to climbing? Yeah, I, I'm a D1 athlete at USC, so I do cross country track, uh, which is pretty much all year round. Uh, so I'm training all the time, um, you know, running six, seven days a week, weightlifting three days a week, doing yoga, all that. Uh, I'm hoping to add some rock climbing into my uh, schedule. I'm really excited. I was talking to a lot of rock climbers on K2, and it sounds just like really fun. So I uh, definitely want to start doing that. Um, but I'm not sure about my climbing schedule from here on out. I definitely am going to do some adventures, hopefully over winter break and over the summer, but um, but I haven't really nailed those down yet. And I love that you've done some of your adventures and training over the years with your family. Um, and I also love that you have a charitable component to these climbs. Tell us about that. Yeah, through through all these climbs, I try to support um, Waterstep, which is a nonprofit organization based out of Louisville, Kentucky, that I've worked with since I lived in Louisville, which was when I was like 12 years old. Um, so I, um, I, I mean, Waterstep's amazing. Before K2, I was over in Uganda and Kenya, putting in a Waterstep chlorinator and bleach makers um, in different communities over there. And actually starting a fish pond as well. So through my climbing, I try to wear, raise awareness, raise money, um, do whatever I can to help support Water Step because um, they're just an amazing organization. And whenever I have a platform to help them out, I, I try to do so. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. You can support Lucy Westlake's mission to raise awareness of Water Step, her charity, a group that has helped people in more than 60 countries gain access to safe drinking water. You can check out waterstep.org. Thank you so much, Lucy. Always good to see you. Good luck at college. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to talk to you all again. All right. All right. Take care.